Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 10 to the power 36 and 9 to the power 37. So we decrease the base but increase the exponent and let's see how this plays out. So to solve this problem we're going to talk about a well-known inequality, a formula, which is called Bernoulli's inequality. So let's go ahead and talk about that first and then we'll get to the solution. So Bernoulli's inequality is basically something that you can state like this. If a is greater than or equal to negative 1 and n is an integer that is greater or equal to 0. In other words, n is a non-negative integer. Then you can write 1 plus a to the power n is greater than or equal to 1 plus n a. Now if n is equal to 0, what happens? You get 1 plus a to the power 0 equals 1. So you get the equality if n is equal to 0. Okay? Let's see how we can use this to solve this problem or to compare these two numbers. So that's the inequality we're going to use. Great. So let's start with something that looks like this. Notice that the powers 36 and 37 are pretty close. So I'm going to go ahead and divide 10 to the power 36 by 9 to the power 37 would be nice. If So the idea is basically, if you can prove that this is either greater than 1 or less than 1, then you're going to be able to compare those two numbers. But it's not going to be that direct. We're going to go ahead and compare this to 9 to the power 36 first. Why? Because they have the same exponent, so it's easier to manipulate. So let's start with this expression, and then we're going to write this as 10 over 9 to the power 36. And then 10 over 9 is an improper fraction, so we can write it as 1 plus 1 ninth, and then to the power 36. At this point, we're going to use Bernoulli's inequality. Make sense? So how does that work? Notice that in my inequality, now I have a is equal to 1 over 9. Notice the relationship. a is equal to 1 over 9, and n is equal to 36. So if you if apply that inequality here, you're going to get 1 plus 36 times 1 over 9, which is great, right? 9 goes into 36, that's 4 times, and 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. So this basically proves that 10 to the power 36 divided by 9 to the power 36 is greater than or equal to 5. Obviously, it's not going to be equal, but it's okay to write it as greater than or equal to. Now, this gives us something that looks like this. 10 to the power 36 is greater than or equal to 9 to the power 36 times 5. So if you multiply this number by 5, it's going to be less than or equal to 10 to the power 36. And we're trying to compare these two numbers, but this is not going to make it 9 to the power 37 because you need a 9 to make it 9 to the power 37. Right? So we need a larger number, but what happens is if you multiply, so let's say we multiply this side by 9 over 5 to get a 9 there, but that's greater than 1. So when you multiply the smaller side by 1.8, is that still going to be smaller? That is the biggest question here we have to solve. Okay, great. So we just applied it once and it gave us this. We, we do need a better bound. Make sense? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to again use 10 over 9 to the power 36. But this time we're going to use a little trick. We're going to write it as 1 plus 1 over 9 again. But this time, instead of using the 36 directly, we can go ahead and write this expression as 1 plus 1 over 9 to the power 9 to the power 4. Why? Because of superpower rule, if you raise an exponential to another power, or if you raise a power to another power, you multiply the powers. 9 times 4 is 36. That's why this works. Make sense? What are we going to do with this though, right? Here's what we are going to do. We're going to look at this first. So notice 1 plus 1 over 9 to the power 9. We can apply Bernoulli's inequality to this expression. And if you do, again, let's remember what it looks like. 1 plus a to the power n is greater or equal to 1 plus na. So this is our a. And this is our n, right? So this is going to be greater than or equal to 1 plus n a, 1 plus n times a. So 9 cancels out, and this gives us a 2, right? Is that what you're expecting? I don't know. 
So this gives us the following. 10 over 9 to the power 36 is greater or equal to 2. Is that going to help us? Well, it is if we do the following. Remember, we do have the inside, but that's going to be raised to the fourth power. So here's what we're going to do. We know that 1 plus 1 over 9 to the ninth power, right, is greater than or equal to, I should, by the way, write 9 here, not 36. That should be a 9. Now we do know that this is greater or equal to 2, but then I'm going to raise both sides to the fourth power. Let's do it. Take this, and actually I can probably do it here. It's probably better, right? Raise both sides to the fourth power. And then you're going to get the following. 1 plus 1 over 9 to the power 36 is greater than or equal to 16. Now, this is much better than the 5 we got before because look at this. Our expression was greater or equal to 5, but now we got a better bound. It's greater or equal to 16 now. And the 16 is obviously much bigger than 5 in this sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can use this. Well, simple. 16 is greater than 9, right? Isn't it? So what that means is we can directly associate these two things. Awesome. So let's go ahead and see what that means. So if you make a common denominator, go back to where you came from. This is, let me write it first, the original. Okay, get rid of the 16 and just write it as greater than 9. And then write this as 10 over 9 to the power 36 is greater than 9, and then expand it, 10 to the power 36 divided by 9 to the power 36 is greater than 9, and then this implies what? This implies 10 to the power 36 is greater than 9 to the power 37. Make sense? Awesome. So this is basically one way to approach the problem. And I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it. Please let me know if you find an alternative method. But we're not done yet because I'm still going to show you the numerical values. And we're also going to talk about something that uh, comes out of this. So why does this property work, right? So we have something like 1 plus 1 over 9 to the power 9 is greater than or equal to 1 plus 9 times 1 over 9. Let's take a look. We can use the binomial theorem here, can't we? Look at this. We can use the binomial theorem. So how, what does the binomial theorem tells us, right? It's 9 to 0 times 1 to the power 9 times 1 over 9 to the power 0, right? And then 9 choose 1, 1 to the power 8 times 1 over 9 to the power 1. By the way, you don't have to write the ones because they're always going to be 1. So you can basically just focus on, and this is 1, by the way. You can basically just focus on the powers of 1 ninth. We're going to get 9 times 1 over 9 from here. And then the next term is going to be 9 choose 2 multiplied by 1 ninth squared. Take a look at this expression. Everything is positive, And we already got this term. And we were just claiming that, hey, this expression is greater than or equal to this, and that's true because you're adding more terms, which makes it bigger. Make sense? That's why we have this inequality. And let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values. As you can see, 9 to the power 37 is about 2.2. It's about 2.2 times 10 to the 35, so roughly 2 point, let's just write 2 times 10 to the 35. And the other number, 10 to the 36, as you know, is what? 10 times 10 to the power 35. So it's about five times bigger. Make sense? And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.